Good evening, viewers. Um, since, as you can probably tell, I made a couple changes to the series, and since it's sort of kind of close to the new year, I thought I'd go ahead and reboot the series. I wouldn't really call seven epis. Whoa, wait. New voice, that is weird. Someone mentioned that the uh, cast was hard to understand, um, so I changed the voices and uh, put subtitles. I also uh, put the final touches on John and Tony here. Kind of wished you would not have half asked the paint job though. I am surprised that you have subtitles on your video though. I thought you hated subtitles. It's not that I hate subtitles, it's just I don't watch TV like this. However, you expect your viewers to watch your videos like that. <laughs> As I was saying, since I made so many uh, changes to the video, I thought I'd go ahead and do something different. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and do a top five video, or at least a top five video, top five reasons I like anime. Why only five? Why not do a full top ten like other people? Mostly because I'm lazy. Also because I haven't seen a whole lot of anime to begin with. Starting with number five. Oops. Actually, it's a bit of a misconception that all anime are just Japanese porn cartoons. There is a lot of porn though. Maybe, but that's like watching a single episode of Looney Tunes and saying all American cartoons are uh, just slapstick over uh, repetitive background. Well, if the shoe fits. Maybe, but I haven't seen any two anime that would be so that are so similar that I can say, oh, this is happening, so therefore this must happen, or uh, this is happening, so I understand how this will affect that. Well, that could just be that way because you have not watched very much yet. More than likely, but. Uh, I well, I guess we'll have to see about that. I realize I don't really have the perspective say what is and isn't art, but I see that I, in my view, that is anime is an extremely artful uh, medium. And something that confuses me when someone rages on anime is that they don't like the art style. But we have. There's such a range of artworks, ranging from the super realistic uh, form of uh, something like Final Fantasy, VII, Final Fantasy uh, Advent Children, to the more stylistic uh, scribblings of something like Shin Chan. So is stylistic a synonym for absolute crap? I was being nice. It sounds like it should go with variety. Perhaps it should. Uh, moving on to number three, the action of anime. Although I am kind of conflicted on listing the action of anime as one of the top reasons I actually like anime. You have to admit that some of the best action scenes that you'll ever see is in anime. Well, that's up to opinion. But... I've, the reason I'm conflicted in is that not all anime is action beat em up and a, a lot of very interesting stories are being are being told with actually no fighting at all, even in the action uh, franchises. But that being said, some of the most unbelievable action scenes I've ever seen are here on YouTube in the A are here in the AMVs on YouTube. It's the music. Well, you we kind of have to have the clips to go with the music. Um, number two, it will be the uh, complex storytelling. In my opinion, the complex storytelling of anime is one of the best things about the... Not to really bash on, hit on American TV, but a lot of the shows seem to be about just filling the hour. You have to be joking. Haven't you ever heard of filler? The difference between anime filler and American TV crap <laughs> is that the filler in anime is filling out 
a season. They'll have a strange tangent episode one or two, uh, and then they'll just go back to the main series. But here in America, American TV, it's they'll have like one or two episode like well, let's just say the season premiere has sets up the story, and then the season finale will finish that story. And in between, you have people just kind of dicking around, really not even thing, anything even remotely connected to the main story arc. It's just, they're just kind of bopping along, and, oh, Seated Valley, great, epic, I'm like, well, why didn't you stress over the entire series, but, uh, anyway, <coughs> getting off on a tangent. And at least the filler in anime is typically entertaining in itself. Well, at least it can be. There are several anime. I'm like, just move on already. Get back to the main story. Bleach. But usually an anime will have, well, can go on for several seasons with hundreds of people in its cast. And every member of this cast has their own story and is... A contributing into this story more often than not from what I've seen only one or two characters really drive this story but each character has character <laughs> who's not like a lot of American TV will have the like the messiah of the one of the one person and the other guys oh, all the other people are running around why are and like propping up this I'm going on Crime dramas, medical dramas mostly. I don't watch a lot of TV. Anyway, um, but in anime, you'll have hundreds of people with hundreds of story potentials. And they're not all explored, of course, but they could be. And uh, that goes into. That will. Rat go into my final number one reason I like anime <coughs> let's see if I can actually say this correctly this time the moral ambiguity I think I actually said it correctly that time one of the best things I've discovered in some of the better animes is that the good guy isn't always a good guy and the bad guys aren't exactly the a bad guy. Is this not included with the complex storytelling? Kind of, but not always. You, let's take Mifune from uh, the Soul Eater series. He's an antagonist, but his only goal in life, or in this series, is to protect a kid. You can't really say he's a bad guy for wanting to protect this kid. On the on the other side, you have Kempachi from Zaraki in in Bleach, who's not a good guy. He's a psychopathic murderer, but he's a good guy. And it's like, why is this a good guy? I guess it's because he's with the good guys. <laughs> it's it's one of the greatest things about anime is how it makes you think and there's more going on or more that can go on than what's just on the screen what's handed to you but yeah that's the top five reason for anime I like I love anime um, I understand that it's not very good I'm still getting in working on videography and stuff like that and I'm sorry <laughs> But uh, if you have an opinion, please share yours. Uh, top five reasons you like anime. Help make a top three, five reasons you don't like anime. Just be creative. <laughs> Just if you don't like anime, please be creative in saying why you don't like anime. Um, but um, overall, thanks for watching, and. Uh, have a good evening.